Welcome back, everybody. It's part two of today's episode of Roleplay. Far Verona, and you have a meeting to attend, Amira. So now it's the Amira's time to shine. So you you schedule this meeting, and I think it's reasonable to have it happen quickly because everything is kind of going quickly right now. And um, the plan is that I guess what are the what are the uh, like the the auspices under which you you tell her you're going to have this meeting, right? It's like this person, this Amira, um, this Valen, she has a uh, reason to talk to you. What is it? Like, why, why would she want to meet with, with the Amira? What do you, what do you like offering or, or whatever? It doesn't have to be real. I just, I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah. I could offer her assistance in quelling the violence that is engulfing the region right now. Mm, okay. So the idea is that you're like, House Vela would like to offer you some assistance that isn't like the crux showing up and doing their thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So she thinks that this and is. And just so I know, as, the, like, understand the timeline in yeah. the game, because I know that we are two months ahead of. Y yeah. The so, game, like, the. Right? Currently, there's no reason for anyone to think that that's not true and real. Okay. Um. Yeah. Vela hasn't hasn't joined the joined the STO yet. Um, okay. None of that stuff's happened. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Let's go with that. Okay. Cool. So you, uh, yeah. So you show up in your your trillmobile. Where is everybody else? Oh my god, the Trillinium Falcon. Damn. <laughs> Damn it, Chat. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Would it be like the model behind oh. Anne's head, but just gold? <laughs> Which one? Yeah. There's two. <laughs> I'm dying. You've killed me, chat. You fucking killed me. Uh, all right. So, um, yeah, you you have uh, you have this uh, this thing where you you show up in your car. Where is everyone else? I guess because we know you you're just gonna show up. Are you in the car by yourself? I don't know. Are you guys riding with me? Or, so, well, I guess it depends on the plan, right? Because I think you said you're going to be nearby, right? How well, I'd you like to, be, but then sense? at the same time, I if could we, be at we, risk. If we've given them a meeting point, wouldn't it make more sense for us to go there first and just be there already, like well before the meeting point? Yes, where is our meeting Rather point? Rather than arriving at a public spot? Uh, so there is no public noodles? spot, right? Like she, no, she, she's not leaving. She invites you to her facility, right? She's so like, you come out person. here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You come out and she's got like, it's like a church and like some farms and like, it's her, it's her little, her little area. And so she's invited you like, come on out, like get away from the city. We'll, we'll talk out here. It's like a 20 Maybe minute drive. Her, drive me. That way it doesn't look weird that I'm driving myself. I can sit in the back. She's not going to pay attention to the chauffeur. Yeah, I can be a driver. Maybe she is. I don't know. She's been known to be uh, uh, you know, down with the people, the common folk. But then again, you know. it's a trail vehicle, so nobody, you know, whatever. You. Yeah. Really could wait. The vehicle could technically drive itself. True. Out here. Uh, Super trill. It's less of a question of whether or not I should drive myself, more of a question of establishing a way to get everybody there that isn't sneaky mm -hmm. in case shit goes down. I don't think shit will go down. But the other thing I was going to say is even if she doesn't try anything, that doesn't mean no nobody else is going to. Because we, yeah. it would be very naive of us to think that she's not a target right now, especially for people like Lau that know that she might decide to work with us. So if anything, I'm more concerned somebody else might try to Kill her, get her out of the way while I'm there. Um, Could I have a sniper rifle near on a rooftop nearby and provide cover from somewhere? Because mm. that sounds cool. Uh, yeah. So again, let me let me remind you: the city is over here, and her base is over here. Boo! This is a very long. This is a twenty-minute drive. That'd be the world's greatest sniper rifle. Boom. Um, but, like, but if you can. If you can you get can in the, the area and then teleport to a snipe spot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There's like a tower guard and all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. I just, 
I because it's so out it's so out in the open as well. Like if I get anywhere near it, they're gonna spot me. So this is apparently a medieval setting too, where there's a tower guard that you go up to and hit him. No, <laughs> no tower guard. The, no matter what setting there is, Max, there's always a tower guard to kill and knock yeah, out. It's true. It's true. Throw over the side. But I mean, like it's it's a self contained facility, so it's got like um uh it's got like stuff around it. It's there's these these like moisture farms and it's got like cave structures underneath and stuff. So like you could go there and then find somewhere to hide in in the facility somewhere. Yeah, there's a church and it's like a little like a village almost. Uh yeah, you're gonna be meeting probably in the church. How about this, Mark? Why don't you ride in the car and then when we get close, just teleport out onto the roof. Up to the steeple. Yeah, up to the steeple. Is that yeah, I could do that. Sounds, I'll need a long range. Well, cool actually, my, yeah, that's what some that does sound pretty cool. I'm down. Okay, I am down. Uh, you and do you want like a a sniper rifle? Is that I would like a sniper rifle, Adam Copel, okay. game space right, master. Well, Nomi, Nomi got a thirteen, and you know it's not a proper crux embassy without an armory. So yeah, I think they have a they have a the the ambassador the ambassador would be welcome. happy to give you a sniper rifle. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> she would love for you to have a sniper rifle. Thank you, so... and munition for your excellent dice rolling that enables a That's sniper right. rifle. <laughs> so let me see. It's yes, a sniper weapon. Uh, if you were able, there is a this is I'm looking at page fifty two. You're able to uh, perform what is called an execution attack. So mm. if you have a full minute of preparation. Uh, mm. such as drawing a bead on the target or whatever. Um, if you have a full minute to aim and you pull the trigger, uh, she basically just shoot gets skill, hit right? and has to, yeah, well, you make a, I... you make a shot and then she has to, she has to make a save or die or whoever you're targeting. Adam, to clarify, I am not trying to kill the elder. <laughs> this Listen, was, I, I was don't care who you're trying to idea. kill. <laughs> I don't care who I you're trying to kill. I'm just telling you how this works. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Sure. I have read it. Sure. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about things to do in the future, <laughs> and executions were very high on my list. Now I'm thinking uh, then I can just if anybody does attack the compound or if like Lau or anybody or anybody calls tries to cause a ruckus, then a high vantage point and a fucking rifle is gonna. Okay, all right. So let's go, go through the roll call. Crusader Gabriel, you are going to ride. How are you like in the? The trunk until you get there, or like just in the car. Well, or... I can just if it's it's trill, right? So it's clearly got black tinted windows. It's got the, it the sure super does. cool window because yeah. that would be trill. So I can just wait until we're within a hundred meters, and then I can just yeah, three hundred feet's a good way to go. So you could yeah, and then you just want to be up in in the highest. I'll tell you about the vantage points. You can pick one when you get there. Yeah, and that'll be the plan. Good. You're gonna hide out up there, mm -hmm. hoping nobody spots you, and then in case you need to take somebody yeah. out. Okay. Perfect. All right, Booker, what are you doing? Hold on. Am I muted or no? Can't tell. I can hear you. I'm not muted. Okay, good. <clears throat> Did we establish whether or not I was driving or not? Sorry, I, I tuned out for a bit there for a moment. I'll no, it's okay. It. Uh, I don't think I don't think so. I don't think that we decided okay. that. Do you want to pretend to be yeah, driving no. this car? I don't know where else. Uh, Booker can't teleport, <laughs> so. It's just, it's just, what do you do then once you're there? You know what I mean? Like, and I just stay in the car, I guess, and, and monitor comms. And, and then if shit goes bad or whatever, I, I don't know. It's weird for Booker because he very much looks like what he is, which is a military man. Um, he doesn't have any sort of disguise or anything. Like I said, it, this is like a, a max security kind of place, right? They would have checkpoints uh, no. and all sorts of shit. Like no, that. no, 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 no. It's, it's just it's like I, some sort of like crazy high security it's, place. It's a, it's a compound in the sense that it's <laughs> like, like think of it more like a little, like I said, little village, right? It's a, it's a church uh -huh. and then some hab domes where people live, and they're uh -huh. ones who want to like be close to like her staff and some other people that want to be around her. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, yeah, given that, I guess I would. So it's yeah, I would some be... kind of religious commune. Um, not really, because it's not like she's not trying to get a bunch of people to come out and live there. She just needs sometimes it's a getaway, right? It's are a place where she calling, can go to not be. Are you are you were you about to call the church crazy? Because I once called people crazy church people and boy, <laughs> yeah. 
No, I'll, so, I'll be the driver then, I guess. And then I'll, I'll be looking after the car. So I guess if I'm going to wear any sort of disguise, it would just be like stuff over his already like uniform or whatever, some sort of uniform, plain clothes, black clothes or something like that. That would seem trill. And then Booker would look after the car in the, in the compound or whatever you want to call it. And uh-huh. then yeah, be monitoring uh-huh. comms and, and keeping eyes on, you know, stuff. All right. That so seems you, to make uh, more sense. You come along in the vehicle and then uh, just kind of like be ready to, to move from there. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Nomi, are you uh, are you going along? Uh, yeah, because he's not going like in the place, right? Uh, Alternate. Alternatively, if if we think it would make sense and the Amira would want that, um, Booker could pretend to be her assistant. You know. But again, Booker looks like a military guy, so it's hard to yeah. not look at Booker, and or it's hard to look at Booker and not see like either bodyguard or potential threat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the thing like she can't see me because she's seen me before, and yeah, she's never seen so. me unless you know she's paying attention to a whole bunch of like some sort of pings on notifications or whatever that are going there. But again, like you said, she's part of the church. She's not like straight up military. All right. So Nomi, I guess so Nomi, the Amira, and Booker are all going in the in the trollmobile with the hope yep. that she doesn't get to see Nomi that you just pull up, drop off the Amira, and then the two of you stay in the car. Well, the windows yeah. are tinted, so okay, sure. there wouldn't be any reason. I, I doubt she'd like search the first car, thing when we pull up. So. Hello, dearie. Why don't you roll down those windows for me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let's see what you I, got going I, on in there. Let me. Th- yeah, I doubt it. She's probably just going to wave us through. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that, I guess this is the next day. This is the 6th of April. Um, and you leave New Antioch proper. You leave the, the city limits. The car gives off an alert. Like, as you leave it, it's like you're leaving the protected area of New Antioch. Um, because you're going out into the desert. and there is a, an expanse of cactus and rock, um, and you, uh, you make your way towards, uh, towards this, this outside facility. And in the distance, you can see, yeah, you can see the, the kind of like hazy shadows of um, the, the towers, the, the various like um, drilling towers and the, um, uh, the moisture collectors and stuff in the distance. And as you get closer and closer, you can see this little, like I said, little cluster of buildings kind of at the base of a, of a cliff. And, um, you, uh, yeah, you, you pull in to, uh, to this area. And just, just as, just as I said, and just as you expected, there is a, um, uh, there's a, a central building and this isn't like a, an old, like a dusty old town. It's like, um, like a Mars base kind of deal. Like it's got these uh, geodesic domes set up around it. There's about a half dozen of those. Um, there are solar panels for like a, almost a mile on your way in, right? Like this is huge ring of solar panels. We get a shot from above of you, this little black speck amidst a field of reflective uh, discs as you uh, as you pull in this little black thing traveling up this dirt road towards the, the cluster of buildings in the center. And then, yeah, the church itself is a... Um, a permanent hab building. Um, and it's, it's shaped with these kind of like similarly like arch like lines. And like this whole thing is the kind of thing you would set up. It's probably one of the oldest, uh, of its kind still operating on the planet. It's the kind of thing that you would buy as a kit and you could drop from orbit and it would like set itself up. Um, when you're when you're first exploring a, a hostile environment, but there's no, you don't see any security. You don't see like dudes with guns or whatever. Um, there is uh there is a um a gate that you you drive under a big archway it's a, st- a big steel arch and on it uh there is just the roman numeral 10 uh just over the archway it's just this big x uh as you uh as you drive in um and uh yeah and i think i think that's the thing like she knows you're coming do you do you call ahead do you like no nah. you just, just, just pull up. up? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So it's it's clear to them that someone has has come to show uh to show up at the at the place and um there are uh she she I don't think she has like active security or anything. The um 
the the a vehicle uh, pulls up to you. Um, it's a big, like fat tired, like four wheeler, big ATV. Uh, and there are a couple of uh, a couple of people on it. And one of them, the guy in the back, he pulls his goggles up, and they they pull up and he like taps on the window. Mm-hmm. Um, since let's see, because who who's sitting where? Is it totally up to you guys? We should probably establish that so we can keep it consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, if I'm the driver, I would be in the front, I guess, probably wearing a hat. Yeah, I'm just sitting wherever is going to be out of sight. Yeah, so so probably probably just pass- be in the back somewhere, a passenger or somewhere in the back. If there's like a middle passenger, I don't know how many roll rows there are. You know what I mean in this in this vehicle. But if it's a trail vehicle, I would imagine that probably is fairly high capacity as far as. Mm, I mean, it's like a it's like a it's just a car. It's not a like a big yeah, stretch no, but a, limo. But a, but a but a like a you know a longer car could fit six people easy. So this is the it's the front window. And then there's like side windows. It's like a monster wearing headphones. Uh, And then there's panel (laughs) windows on either side. And then this section is like cut off, right? So if you want to have terrible drawing, uh, if you want to have like somebody driving, then then that's kind of like the layout. Yeah. Yeah. And they can't see inside. The windows are like optically fogged or whatever and so they they just tap on like the back window because they don't assume you're driving yourself right they've they've kind of pulled up in this atv these two dudes and they're wearing like dusty like work clothes they've got overalls Mm -hmm. um one of them has a a gun but it's just on his it's over his shoulder and it doesn't look like a it's not like an ak-47 it's like a hunt the laser equivalent of a hunting rifle it's like kind of banged up Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay i'll let down the window a crack just so they can see my eyes and um, say, uh, we're here to see the elder Miguela. And he, uh, he says, uh, he says to you, uh, all right, hang on. And he like gets his radio and he, uh, he says, um, some trill car here for the elder. I'm sorry, ma'am, your name? The Amira. House from House Vela, here in Core. You should be expecting me. My apologies, Amira. I'm sorry. Of course, you're expected. It's uh, it's the Amira. Yeah. All right. And he like hooks it on, and uh, and he says, um, just uh, have your car follow us, Amira. And he, <clears throat> the driver, guns it, and they they pull out in front of you, and they pull like mm-hmm. kind of an arc towards um one of the side halves. So like, if we're looking at it, if we're looking at it from above, there would be like this fan basically of let me here, i'll draw it smaller this like fan of of solar panels kind of out here uh and then you guys drove up like so and then there's smaller buildings kind of like around in the in the field and then the the church itself the big kind of church hall would be here i'll put a cross on it so you're kind of getting led around this central hub over here. Okay. I'll probably let Gabriel know it might be a good time for him to take his position or to start scouting out a position and then just like obviously just follow them. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you're you're muted, Mark. Whatever the nearest vantage point that I can jump out to uh, on the car's path. So, would you like to make a? Let's get you to make a roll. Make a notice roll with intelligence to try to pick out like a. Good what if I don't? Point. You said if I want to. What if I don't want to? You could just fail. That's fine. No, that's you could just fine. opt out of the roll. Oh, sorry, I failed anyway. Hey, Three good. ones. Yeah, <laughs> they all look the same to you. So okay. you uh you pick you pick one that kind of gives you like a look. It's like sort of out here, mm-hmm. uh, and it's a um yeah it's a moisture collection tower. And you notice that it's got a little circular walkway around the top, about like forty meters up. Mm-hmm. But it's quite exposed, I take it. Um, as long as nobody looks up at it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's hope they don't. 
Wow. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yes, yeah, so there's a pop, a popping sound and, and a, the weird hum of the of the Crusaders the vibration. Uh, MES mm -hmm. kicking in. Yeah. Voomp, and then he's gone. Uh, so up here, voomp, there's actually quite a bit of a breeze. Uh, the thing's a bit flexible, so it's kind of like wobbling a little. Um, mm -hmm. And there's there's like wind blowing around you. Uh, behind you, the only thing higher than where you are is a an antenna with some little like red lights at the end of it that are blinking. Um, and there's behind you, there's a little panel, an LED that's displaying um, like storage. Uh, and then down below, essentially this this tower at the the top part of it is it looks like a tree made out of very very fine metal filaments. And mm -hmm. the filaments make up a net that captures tiny like microbeads of moisture in the air, and then they run down the inside of the filament into a reservoir underground. Um, mm -hmm. So you're you're kind of at the top of this like weird metal tree uh, with like mm -hmm. tiny, almost like um like alveoli, like little lung like kind of extensions. Cool. Uh, and it it like wobbles a little when you get on there. Um, there's a ladder that runs down the side because you got to be able to climb up here to to maintain mm -hmm. the thing. Maintain it. Yep. Nope. It's like a uh, great probably... place for a life or death knife fight. Like yeah, you. Oh, yeah, that'd that'd be amazing. Painful. Describing like my worst yeah. nightmare: being up in the air, I swaying know. ever so slightly. Nope. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think Gabriel just kind of starts getting all of his equipment ready, and then we'll just kind of comms to uh, totally. book it, well the rest of the team and just be like, "I'm in position." Yeah, this is the this is the archetypal like opening the case, screwing on the silencer, mm -hmm. like it's a laser gun suit, mm -hmm. system, but, like you know, getting ready. Okay, you gotta cool. do it so you feel cool. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what does that thing even do? Nothing. I just think it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's you're like up. You're up in position. A shotgun. You got to do it like this. You can't just yeah. Like, yeah. No, hold it really hard and then just rank up. Yeah. That's actually very very That's, hard to do. It is. <laughs> you have to be you really. You have to be re just gotta like be really you, strong like, to get it. Pull to back the hammer on a gun. It doesn't have to be like loud or like even when you no. reload a pistol, it doesn't have to be loud. But people always Don't let do it that, go, yeah. so it just goes. <laughs> yep. Using one hand to reload a pump shotgun where you do that thing where you flip it around. Showmanship. <laughs> Showmanship. So okay. So you get up there, uh, Gabriel. Uh you do like 17 cool badass things that nobody notices, but God sees you do it. He's like six. That's the only one that matters, Adam. <laughs> That's right. This one's for you, Big J. So down on Earth, um, the Amira Booker and Nomi, your your vehicle uh, pulls into a um uh, a little like there's a garage, uh, a little side um, facility. And right now it's empty, but you can see that there's like four or five stalls to protect uh, vehicles from the wind, from the wind and the sand. So um, they uh, the the guy gets off of uh, the guys get off their ATV. They pull up and the, the car pulls in beside them into one of these slots. And there's a conduction like charger underneath. And so the inside of the vehicle, we see a little green light turn on as it starts to charge the batteries of the car. Um, and yeah, they, they get off and they, um, yeah. And I guess they're like, they're going to escort you. They, they just wait. I get out and I'm wearing like the space equivalent of when ladies decide they're going to go horseback riding. They wear their riding oh. pants. Yeah. Nice. So I get out and I'm wearing my, my veil and riding pants, take off mm -hmm. my leather gloves that were completely not required and kind of like. Slapping them together, I'll follow behind them. Have you been watching okay. Downton again? Yes! <laughs> Don't judge me! <laughs> I could just I knew. Downton, Listen, Downton Abbey is perfect inspiration if you want to play amazing. a character who does not give a shit about common people. It's great. To, in a really passive-aggressive way. As um, soon as the writing pants came out, I knew. <laughs> it's how you get it's in the Downton right headspace for a noble, okay, Mark? You watch no, Downton it's... Abbey! down to an asteroid now so um okay so the amira you are led you're led uh these these guys uh, lead you in they um yeah they take you to to this this building and and they um the the one that had the goggles on originally uh he uh he says um uh he, he points there's a like a, an opening that leads between the garage and the the dome so you don't have to go outside into the into the wind and uh and he says um uh the elder's just finishing up with a meeting. She's been taking them all day. Shouldn't be long, Amira. And, uh, Thank you so much. You in, yeah, leads you into Hab 1. Um, and inside, uh, it's subdivided by um, uh, metal like sheeting. And, and it's, like, it is a place where uh, this building appears to be divided into like different functions. And so you kind of walk through like a greenhouse. 
Um, so there are like plants growing and they're all being monitored and you can see there's like a sprinkler system overhead and, uh, it looks like they're running. Actually, can you make a notice in intelligence roll? Yeah, let's see. Okay. They're running some kind of science experiment, but you can't tell what the fuck it is. Like these, these aren't, they're not just growing these plants and there's too many different plants. You don't know anything else about it. You just notice that. Um, they lead you through this little greenhouse and um, to the door, and you can. Uh, they, the I guess the guy gets on his, his radio and, and he um, and he says, um, uh, he's like, Horvath, yeah, the Amir is here, and the uh, the door opens, and you see a nervous looking um, brown skinned man uh, in a tunic, uh, clutching his data pad, looking at you, kind of like. There's this look of like, like he's acting like trying to act like he's more of a stranger than he is, but you've never met him before. And mm -hmm. he, he's kind of got this vibe of like, we have a secret. Don't tell everybody that we have a secret. And he, uh, he says, oh, he's so Amira, incompetent. Amira, it's, it's so good to see you. Please, this way. And I follow and I say, are you well, Syed? That was his name, right? And, uh, that is his Saeed. name. Saeed. Uh, and he, Saeed? He, yeah, yeah, Syed. Yeah, and he, uh, he says, oh, well, you know, things being how they are, might be a good time to take a vacation. And when we walk in, we see there is, a, there is the, the elder Miguel. You've seen her on TV and in the, in the like, newsreels a bunch of times. Um, she's played by, if we, I think Kathy Bates is the actress. Yeah, she'd be played by Kathy Bates. So I can't. She's, isn't Kathy Bates the one from Misery? She is. But that was yeah. a long time she ago. Scares the crap out of me. I don't well, I good. Was a sweet old lady. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So Kathy, Kathleen, Kathleen Doyle Bates, uh, Kathy Bates, and she's, uh, yeah, she's she's wearing um like a like a gardening like outfit. And when you walk in, there is a um, there's a little uh like another little greenhouse area, but this one has um various strains of like flowering plant. Uh, and she's she's talking to somebody um, about that, and uh, and she uh, she says, um, I just don't think this strain is. Oh, I've I've got a guest. Excuse me. And the technician nods, uh, and he says, um, uh, of, of of course. He he leaves. He walks off to go do something, and she turns around, and uh, and she says, Mira, it's a pleasure. So nice to meet you, Alder Miguela. I extend my hand to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she she shakes your hand, and she. I uh, see she you says, have quite an interest in horticulture. Well, I mean, you you come from a green planet to something like this, and uh, but you can't help but miss it. Just a little project of mine. Hmm. I see. Thank you for meeting with me on such short notice. Of course. I, I hope you don't mind. Uh, she gestures around like. I don't find myself with a surplus of time these days. That's quite all right. So, when your assistant contacted me about this meeting, uh, they, they were uh, uh, unclear. What is it that House Vela can do for us here on Berkman? I don't mean to be blunt, but you'll find that's just sort of how I am. Straight to the point. Oh, this is a trait I quite admire. I don't enjoy talking in circles. I am a woman of action, not words, and it's pleasing to me to see that you are as well. I am here to hopefully help put an end to some of the violence that is engulfing your lovely planet at this time. I'm sure that as does, a woman of the that cloth, does seem That does seem to be the rhetoric, doesn't it? Put an end to the violence. Usually that means stopping people from saying what they got to say. Setting things right a certain way. I've come around on a few things since I came here to Berkman. Sometimes you uh, have to get your hands dirty. And as she's saying this, she's like taking her gardening gloves off and like tucking them into her belt. Which are like a stark contrast from my like crispy, yeah, clean exactly. gloves you that look... have never seen a day of work. <laughs> Yeah, you look you look very clean, and she's like, yeah, she's like her, she's got like dirt stains on her knees, and yeah, she's taking her gloves off. 
Yeah, and so she she says, uh, sometimes you got to get your hands dirty to do the right thing. Oh, yes, I quite agree. So does the current climate not distress you at all? Well, you know what they say about climate. You don't like it. Change it. Hmm. A lot of times, when change or revolution is called for, the people who suffer the most are the common man. Isn't that always how it is? That's why the hierarchy is shaped like it is. So many of them down at the bottom, holding all the rest of us up. How many serfs in your household, Amira? Off the top of your head. How many under my care? Let's see. Um, personally, probably about 40. That's 40 souls. Does that ever weigh on you? Worrying about them? Oh, every day. Well, Why? If my household were living here on Berkman, I would do everything in my power to make sure these terrorist acts stop make sure that their businesses were not firebombed, to make sure that they were not caught in a political flame war between two groups, neither of which who serve their interests. But that is the way of my family. That's the Valen way. Yeah, you are a diplomat. I'll give you that. Reality of things here on Berkman is, uh, well, only two kinds of folks. People of Berkman. Everybody else. That crux ship. I knew it was going to be trouble. So what do you have to offer that's different from what they do? I'm not crux. I don't do business no. like the crux. I'm not a police that's... officer. And I have that's... the insight to know that this won't be solved by making some arrests and instituting martial law. I am here to appeal to your sensibilities and hopefully also to give you information that I hope will help you make the right decision. Is that so? What sort of information, Amira? How much do you trust Talat Lao? People like Lao, they're, um, he's young. Fiery but young, inexperienced, in need of guidance, shepherding. I've been working with the boy, trying to steer him right. I find this sort of fire tends to burn off as you get older. You learn a thing or two about the world. Does it not distress you that while he's inciting these riots, he's himself is quite safe behind an army. A leader no, leads from the front, it. not from behind. Someone like you. Oh, I'm You're not. You're here, getting your I'm not hands leader dirty. Of anybody. Yeah, and she, she's just like, she pulls the grandma like, no, I'm, I'm not. Now, people love me. It's true. I worked hard. I've been putting in my time on Berkman. But uh, I, I'm no leader. Well, now is your You're time the... to become one. <laughs> she laughs. <laughs> She's like, is that what you've come to offer? Hmm? Not offer. Give me Berkman? Ask. People are in need of guidance from someone they trust from someone who will not feed them like fodder into the crux cannon. Hmm. From someone that is not the puppet of an off-world extremist organization. And I'm going to take the tape from my hmm. pocket and place it on the table in front of her. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you sit down, she looks at it, and, uh, and she says, uh, what's that? 
that this proof that Talat Lau is lying, that he is using your people as pawns to requisition his own safety and position on this planet. Mm-hmm. And she, um, yeah, she takes it, and uh, she, uh, she says, um, "Well, it's not that I don't take your word for it, but you mind if I give this a watch?" By all means. Okay, so she like she slots it, and it's like it's audio, and then a bit of the like cam, like body cam stuff that the the troops have, and like you know you've put together this this thing for her, um. And she uh, she watches it, and uh, she she's kind of shaking her head, and she uh, she listens to the the tape, and she says, uh, hmm. "Well, isn't that something?" I uh, like you said. Young and fiery. Mm, I knew he had friends. Friends from off world. <sighs> well, so what then? Mm? I mean, you helped me make a decision today, but I don't see how that changes much. It can change a lot. The truth is, Elder, if you do not act quickly, the full fist of crux justice will descend upon this planet the impact of which will be felt not by the likes of Talat Lau or his off-world extremists but by the likes of you and your flock and what you do here today can prevent that but it requires you stepping up will you be a shepherd to your flock Make a talk and charisma roll, she says to you, staring you in the face. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and make a talk and charisma roll? Go ahead time. and roll that there talk and charisma. Can I re-roll Oof. that? I have a... Yeah, you've got your, you got your re-roll. Yep. Yeah, I only have one. So. Nope. I, rolled a, I rolled a nat one on that. So. You'll do better. That's better. Hey. Much, better. Yeah. much better. Okay. Much better. <laughs> so she, you can see her thinking about it, and while she's thinking about it, cut to Gabriel. Gabriel, um, you see coming from the same direction uh, you came from. You see a, a handful of vehicles on their way, making their way across the desert. Mm. Zoom in a little bit closer, checking to see if it looks like they are carrying any armed individuals or weaponry. Uh, you see the cool scope. They're basically like the the Berkman equivalent of like pickup trucks. They're yeah, they're yeah, like land they're land vehicles. Uh, they um, they're closed top though. They don't have like a, an open back. Um, you can't see what's in there. But um, make a uh, make a notice notice roll. Uh, pop. Okay. Um, they're riding. They're riding low on the suspension. Riding low on the suspension. They're they got some people in them. Got some plenty of people. All right. So you'd guess get... you'd guess probably like. Yeah, give me a rough estimate of numbers. Like, like a dozen, dozen people, maybe. Well, across all of the vehicles, yeah. Yeah, like all three of them. All right. So I get on the comms and uh, broadcast to Booker, Nomi, and the Amira. <clears throat> there are about a dozen people coming in on land vehicles, making their way quite fast towards the complex. Amira, can you one? Can you inquire, uh, inquire if the Emir, if the Reverend is expecting such a group? They are carrying lots of people. Um, yeah, is she still just standing there thinking? You can see her kind of like, yeah, like it's, it's only been a second, so. 
Imagine, imagine that the the crusader just cut in. Like, okay. she's like, mm, and then he says that. Mm-hmm. Elder Miguela, I wasn't aware you had other appointments today you were expecting. She looks up at you suspiciously. I'm sorry? My security detail outside, that is my driver, just informed me that there are several vehicles headed towards our location. Well, I am popular today. I wasn't expecting anyone, no. Well, he, I'll I don't keep have a, to tell him. He knows that. Yeah, I can dun, also. Dun, dun. hear it. So I'll keep a close eye on them, Adam. As soon as I get any impression that they are dangerous folks, then I will uh, inform the team and ask team leader what to do. Okay. How All far right. out are so they, they? What's that? Uh, they're coming in fast. Um, they're maybe yeah. like... Couple of clicks. I don't know. You figure at the speed they're going, Gabriel. You got like maybe mm-hmm. like two minutes before they before they like okay. pull up to the edge of the the solar field. Pop I'll relay that to big snake. Use your, I was gonna say, <laughs> Papa Bear, big snake. Two minutes out. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to scramble some gunships. What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah. Can you see through your scope, Mark? If they're like <clears throat> the look of them, do they look military? Yeah, that's what I just do said. Look- I don't know if I got that on my notice, Adam. If they, but I couldn't see from this distance, right? They, I mean, they don't look like military vehicles, and there's no like mounted guns. Can I see inside, like what the people are wearing or anything? No, nah. no, there's too nah. much dust. Okay, because they're like I'll, they're uh... they're land vehicles, right? So they're kicking up a lot of dust. Okay, uh, terrain is creating a lot of dust. I can't see it inside. They're not armored vehicles. They're not military, but they're carrying a lot of people. This does strike me as the kind of people that would be causing trouble inside the city. What are y'all yeah, two minutes. Do? Yeah, they're on the way. Um, yeah, you can't, I guess, Amira, you can't, like, you're face to face with this person. You can't even, like, sub, um, uh, sub vocalize because she'll see you moving your mouth. Um, so, right. Uh, I, so I'm I'm quiet. I was asking like as yeah. a player, like what do y'all sure. want to do? So Two she, minutes the, is not a lot of time. So the elder so the elder says the elder says to you, uh, well, Amira, I'll consider what you said, but if I've got guests, I, I think I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Um Elder, mm-hmm. I I think it would be best if myself and my detail lingered for a moment. Uh I don't think you realize how dangerous your existence is to someone like Lau, who is using his propaganda to sort of grease the wheels here. So while you're talking, she's reaching under one of the like gardening plots. She, she's like reaches down. She comes back with a gun and she's like, oh, honey, I've been on Berkman far too long to think everything's OK. And uh, she says, uh, you do what you need to do. I'll do what I do. And she like sets it on her shoulder and she starts walking towards the exit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna like walk behind her at a brisk pace and you know like at the same time pull my sidearm from my like mm-hmm. my back holster and arm it and say not to be a bother but your safety is of paramount importance to me and for this reason I will insist on accompanying you she she just shrugs at you and, and she says uh you do whatever God inspires you to do. And uh, she she walks into, like, out of the little slice that she was in, into the secondary one. As it's happening, the the vehicles are are approaching the edge of the, the solar farm. Um, Booker and Nomi, is there anything you want to do? You're in the garage right now. You're just, like, sitting in the back. You're you're the fucking dude in Die Hard. You're in the, in the, limo, in the limo, down in the basement. <laughs> Jamming out. What are you going to do? <laughs> That's right. What are the two you going to do? Well, if we know that's happening, I mean, Booker would be getting strapped. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in his laser, laser she rifle. He's like checking your weapons and yeah. yeah. Okay. Where's like um, the rest of like Doyle and all them? Uh, at oh. home. We didn't bring them. <laughs> They're back at the embassy. Yep. And you said it's a twenty-minute drive. Yes. Okay. There is also a big ass spaceship in orbit, um, but it'll it'll need a, a minute to get like around the planet if you if you want it in range. <laughs> That's what Can I was going to say. The uh, men in the ATVs. 
under Booker's What's command, that? they might. Can we use the men in the ATVs if Booker were to like? Those are those. Those are like the. Those are her. Those are her dudes, though. Private right, dudes. But these people are here to kill her. Are they? I think we're jumping to some we conclusions. Well, we don't. Yeah. We don't I'm know. assuming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's saying that if they are here. Yeah, yeah if they are. Uh, no, I mean, they won't listen to you because they're not your guys. I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the two of you are just like getting ready to to spring into action if you need to. Yeah, I mean, like I'm not really a gunfighter person, so I don't really know how I'm supposed to assist yeah. with this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm assuming. I mean, we, we don't we don't know that it's going to be a gunfight. So are we under watch right now? And how far away is the garage from where the exit is? Like, how long would that take? You know what I mean? If say if if shit did pop off and and I had to Booker had to get over there, how long would that take? And if I you know move now, what's going to be the reaction if we do have anybody looking at us? Um, I mean, I can't tell you all that information. Some of that's prescient, but um, like from you to where, what, what exit? Like, because if I mean, you get like out of the car, that information. If you get, came if you in, get out of the car, you're you're like twenty feet from the the little airlock thing that leads to the dome, the hab dome. So you can get from here to there, no problem. Um, okay. you're like 150, 200 feet maybe from the the central ring uh of the thing where where the car stopped and pulled around the first time um yeah and they're they're approaching um so uh G gabriel you see them pull up to kind of where you got stopped and the same thing like one of these little the little atvs like pulls over they stop the the front cars uh the front vehicle's window goes down and the guys on the atv have a conversation with whoever's driving it there's a brief like interchange and then yeah, do you have now they've stopped. Yeah, now that they've yeah. stopped and they've rolled the window down, now can I see who's inside? Because there shouldn't be any more dust. Uh, yeah, I mean it's dusty and windy in general, but you can make a yeah, you can make right. a roll, make a notice, notice and uh, wisdom or intelligence. I guess wisdom in this case. One day I'm gonna put some ranks and notice the amount I bloody use it. I mean seven. Okay. That's the, that's um, right. they're they're just wearing like like the drab kind of tan, like workman's clothes that you would see commonly on, on like folks in mm. the, in the city. Yeah. No, uh, anything like out of the ordinary. Are they carrying like, you know, anything like on their shoulders or, you know, any kind of heavy bags or anything like that? I can see. Um, there is a bumper sticker on the, the, the front of one of the vehicles that says Berkman born and raised. Cool. Um, Thanks, Adam. <laughs> and uh, they've got like a parking permit in the front window. I don't know. They just look like they just look like like laborers. Like OK, so I will yeah. on the comms uh, just say they've stopped at the gate. They're being they're being questioned. It does appear to be workmen, just lots of them. Yeah, that's the thing that sets you off. It's like three, three truckloads of. Them. Yeah, I say like three trucks, each carrying what, four or five. Uh, Um, by this time, the, the window rolls back up and the ATV and the vehicle start coming around the corner. Uh, you see Miguela and the Amira come out into the garage. So they come out through the, the hab, um, the tube, the airlock tube. And uh, yeah, and so the two of them, them come out. She glances at your car, Amira, uh, and makes a face in judgment of it. Um, and then walks out to the opening of the garage as these three trucks pull up. And from your point of view, and actually everyone can see this. So Booker and Nomi, you see it in the rear view display of the vehicle. Right? There's a camera on the back of the vehicle showing behind. You're pulled in forward. Um, and I guess I could. Let me let me show you uh, kind of how the garage is laid out. So if this is the edge of the hab dome. There is a, uh, a tube that leads into the garage. And the garage is kind of set up like this. And then your vehicle, let me get rid of this crap over here. Get out of here. Uh, your vehicle is pulled into one of the stalls here. And your new friends, the three of the trucks are driving up this way. So they pull up here. So you're seeing this through the rear view. And uh, the Amira and the, the um, Elder are here. So they're looking that way as they pull up. And then from above, uh, you can you can see over the edge of the dome. You have a clear line of sight to where they pull up. And they stop, and um, the uh, the door opens on one of the back vehicles. 
and you see somebody dressed familiarly. You see somebody dressed like a preacher. Lau. Get out. Yeah, it's Lau. And then a bunch of other people. Um, some guys, like the people driving, stay in the cars. The cars don't go turn off. But Lau gets out. Uh, and they're armed, but they're not pointing weapons. And she's got her shotgun or whatever, laser shotgun, but she doesn't point it at them. And Lau looks at you, uh, Amira, and uh, and he says uh, to the uh, to the elder, he's like, "I didn't know you had guests, elder." And she uh, she says, uh, "Oh, you know me, social butterfly. We were just talking about you, Reverend." And he he scowls and he says, "Is that so?" Just a point. I am training. Like I'm going to do the minute of focusing on you're, now. You're, like, I, like the timer begins. Okay. It's right. just like brain. Okay. I'm yep. just, I'm yeah, just yeah. aiming. Just aiming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So you just turn on the scope, and we see the like the little like reticle pop up, and, and then yeah. I'm listening in via the mirror. So I'm listening to what you're saying as well. Yeah, and like during the scene, he's standing outside, and so there's like dust blowing around his his legs. He's got this like coat, this sort of trench coat on that's like blowing it out around his ankles, and uh, yeah, and he he says to he says to you, uh, Mira. So uh, he says, um, so how many lies have you told her? Does she know you're here with the crux? And the the elder I looks think... at you like. I'm going to ignore that and instead use uh -huh. my classic deflection technique. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've activated my deflection card. Um, <laughs> instead be like, well, you would be one to know about lies, would you not? Uh, and he, he scowls uh, and he, uh, he says, uh, you and your thugs. Oh, you mean, this is exactly mean the people that this, saved your life. This is exactly what this planet needs. I'm telling the people what they need to spur them into action. He You're telling the people the, what you yeah. want to use them as a shield to protect yourself from the wrongdoings you yourself have committed. And he, he holds his hands up and he, uh, he said, um, I've repented. I'm ready to die. It's not about me, noble. It's about Berkman. It's about freedom. Freedom from people like you, from the crux, from the empire and their crimes. And freedom does um, not entail being under the thumb of a militant organization that is off planet, using you like way. puppet that you are. I'm buying <laughs> so book, time. Yeah. I'm just buying time. As you're talking, so Booker recognizes Louis Donald speak. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I know. I hear you stalling. Okay. Uh, so let's let's lay out where everybody is. So um, the Booker, you are. Uh, I guess the Amira. Let's go. The Amira is there, and then um, Booker. I will draw you in purple because you're a crux. Booker, you are in the car. No me. I'll draw you in. Green. As you guys are talking, I'm like, I don't want to interrupt people talking, but holy shit, I need to get there now. <laughs> well, no, it's good. You're not, I'm just buying you're not actually that. like a minute. That's all I'm you're doing. Not actually, I'm buying Gabriel a minute. You're not actually that far, right? Like you're you're only like maybe like five or six meters from her. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me finish off, here. You know, I still have an airlock yep. to go through, right? The thing is, I can't so just kill Miguel. him without like provocation. That's only going to make it worse. There's Miguela. You're right. Um, so the two of you just came out of the airlock. And then Talat Lau and his goons, I'll draw them in red. So here's, here's Lau. And then that's a goon. All right, goon, goon. Goon, goon, goon. They're all kind of standing around. They've gotten out of the vehicles. And then the three, the three vehicles are like here. Here. I guess this guy got run over, uh, and uh, and then like back here, and so there's like a goon in each one of those, like ready to to drive off. Diagram, not to scale. Yeah. So yeah, they've kind of gotten out of the vehicles and are standing around. It's a lot of goons. It's a lot of goons. Yeah. And so Lao, yeah, Lao is like, this isn't about me, and he's not talking to you. He's talking to Miguela, and he said, um, he says, I came out here. To talk some sense into you, Elder. Think about all the conversations we've had. 
This is about freedom for Berkman. I know that's what you want. And you can see her like rolling it over in her head. Um, Booker, did you want to do something or are you guys just like everybody's kind of holding, holding position? At the ready. I just want to be able to be there quickly and, you know, I want to be in position so that way if the shots start popping off, Booker's able to be like, aha, there's more of us, you know. <laughs> just like that? <laughs> just like that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sucker. <laughs> okay. Can I, um, Adam, can I actually, I mean, like, maybe at the right time, maybe not, like, right now, but can I help the Amira um, by possibly kind of, like, feeding her some, like, church doctrine, like, to maybe kind of help convince, because we know Miguel is very devout and, like, remind her of, like, the virtues to mention, you know, things like just yeah, sure. temperance, diligence, and, you know, things basically, like that. It's basically, like, this is basically, like, a, a duel of wits between you, like, her... You're arguing for Miguela's support, right? She's basically going to yeah. be, because he's like, listen, join join me, and we can rule Berkman yeah. together. Like, you know this is the right thing for the people of Berkman. Let's kick the empire out of here. Like, support me. Issue issue a decree that we're going to kick all the imperial dicks off this planet, and then we'll, you know, we'll be free. And you're like, yo, he's crazy. <laughs> this is not good. Yeah. So yeah, totally. You can you can help by by doing that. But Lao Lao basically looks at her and is like, "You know, this is the best thing for these people. We've had this conversation. Come on, I just know, need you to back also me. Potentially feed me information about what's going, like which way she's. Yeah, you're leaning. all in. You're all in. You're all in communication. Yeah. So know me and Booker. You can participate. But you're like hiding in this car with the 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 wind. That's the, good the, though, the because then she like, doesn't know her brain's being read. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Otherwise, she'll know. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, there is that chance that it might fail, and she'll be like, "What the fuck? Who did that?" <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> right. Like, what? Who did How that? It must your car. Be the car. Like, your car what? is probing me. Yeah. <laughs> She's an NPC fuck you, chitty chitty bang bang. What was that? Bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's crazy. She's shotgun grandma. So, uh, what do you say or do, uh, Kiran? I, you can see her, and she's she's having this moment of like. We have talked about mm -hmm. this. Like it's it is time. I have to make a decision. But like you lied. But you lied for a good reason. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I'll very calmly like place my hand on her shoulder since I'm standing next to her and say, "You're a good woman. People don't have to get hurt. Work with us. We want to work with you. I want to work with you." And Lao Lao says, "You know the Empire lies." They promised that they would help us when they built that church. They promised they would help us when they sent Trillion here. Who's getting money from them? No one. Not me, not you, and certainly not the people. They get richer and we stay down here in the dirt. You cannot hope to win. Not like this. If it comes to blows. We can. We can we win, die. Elder, by any means necessary. I say stuff so bad. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Teleport! <laughs> You can talk into Kiran's ear, right? Yeah, but it's. I think like it's. I want to say stuff. Couldn't as you Gabriel like appear, another priest. Do it. Like, couldn't you like appear behind oh, her this and like such a check bad him? Idea. I don't yeah, it's a really bad is. idea. That's a you bad have you have the perfect point. sniper position right now. I know, but, but yeah. we also like he was. He's got the. He's got like God on his side. He can check think Lao about, so quickly. Think about and your Lao goal, also Mark. is All terrified you have to do. of you. Squeeze the trigger. He'll pop no. like a overripe watermelon. I can pop up and hit him with the Good Bible. The Do truck. it. <laughs> Why have you done this to me? Um, <laughs> damn it. Me. Um, Take the shot. <laughs> I can't. I can't shoot him until he, he's provoked. Um, well, and also, like, if he if he goes down, then show, all hell on. breaks loose, right? And uh, also, yes. If he, if he draws the chances will, and also. I'll shoot. And also, Kiran's in like grave danger if someone if guns start going off, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll I'll just uh, on the comms, um, I'll just say one. I'll just say one thing to Kiran. I'll just be like, uh, <laughs> remind me, Kiran, remind Regela of the virtues, diligence, temperance, integrity, hope. She cannot just give in to Lao's cowardice. He, like you said, he's doing this to save himself. He's not doing this for the people of Berkman. And I'll, you know, taking my hand away from her shoulder and meeting eyes with Lao this time, say, mm -hmm. <clears throat> do not use your cowardly ploy 
your propaganda and your manipulation tactics and say that that is the only way to do business. We've already got you on tape flouting the very values that you claim to espouse. Then I'm going to turn to Miguela and say, remember the virtues, temperance, hope, diligence. Do not throw the lives of your people away in this vain bloodbath. Not for the not for the strange agenda that this man and off-planet extremists want. They don't care about you. They're pushing their own agenda. Let's do uh <laughs> Let's do let's do a roll. Let's let's see. Let's see what she does. So I'm gonna roll for Lau. And you roll for you. Uh okay. it's gonna can I give be, her a, a uh, bonus? Yeah, you can roll to help. I yeah. already used my re-roll. You sure did. Convey re-roll. No ability. So this is Lau's like it's his main jam. He's like a big antagonist guy, so he's gonna get plus two. Uh yeah, because he's an NPC, he just rolled two six plus two. Um, so Chaplin, roll yours first. So is this talk? Would this be? Yeah, I think so. Talk and charisma. If you get a seven or better, it gives a plus one to the Amira. Oh, fuck. Oof, the Chaplin is of no help. She's too far removed from the church. All right, Amira, what's your, what's your bonus for talk? Um, I have a plus one. If you're talk and charisma, you got a plus one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you want me to roll first? Do you want to roll first? Yeah, you have a queen. Yeah. Do you have any ranks in <laughs> talk, though? Yeah. Is it just straight? Saying, I have, a, I have oh. a plus one because I have a plus, plus one, one total. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'll roll first. Oh, God. 12. <laughs> Below average. I got an eight. Eight. Oh, God. Ha! Nice. Oh! <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. So here's what happens, box cards. right? <laughs> box she cards. looks at you and she looks at Lau and she says, you're a hothead, Lau. You always were. I tried to guide you like a lost sheep. Look at you now. Acting the wolf. We don't want to win like this. It's not sustainable. Not for Berkman. I can't back you. And he sneers. And he says, he's like, it's just as Karsten said, cowards. And he looks at one of the goons and he's just like, gives them the like, go ahead and just fucking shoot up the joint. And now we have to roll initiative <laughs> to see whether he gets iced before she does. And like, it all kind of goes, it all goes a little haywire. So let me, uh, shot. <laughs> yeah, right. So let me, let me change, let me change up this order here. Um, so if everybody would like to roll initiative, well, I had him trained, Adam. Would that would I get the shot off? Or is this literally the pulling the trigger before this he? Is, this is the pulling the trigger. Be. Yeah, it's are okay, you fast yeah, enough yeah, to pull yeah, the trigger? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so now, oh, that was a mirror. That was no me. Oh, it's at the top. Yeah. The elder. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, the elder, and then like I guess goons. It's not really fair to call them goons. You got goons. me on there as well. Check. It's just goons. Oh, yeah, that's right. I removed you because you have a new name now. And oh, that's a great initiative there, Booker. Oliver okay, now Booker, like don't that. you get to roll? You get to roll twice, right? And keep your best one. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, I do. Roll twice. That's Plus for a little. Out of the car. There, there we go. Boop. <laughs> Yeah, right. Booker just kicks the door open. Oh, six, wow. Six. Two sixes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. So let me get you guys first. So, Kiran, you got an eight. Booker, you got a six. Nomi, what did you get for your initiative? Nine? Is that what yours was? No, I had seven. Nomi, seven. Okay. Uh, let me roll for Lau. That was no reason to have a bonus. Lau got a five, but it's not about him. That's on the one that counts. The Elder, she has a minus one because she old. You got a three. Uh, what did you get, uh, Gabriel? And you're seven? A seven. Okay. All right. So the goons, number to beat is a seven. They only have a plus one. So here we go. Ooh, so slow, goons. So slow. So I think what happens is their their reticence to act is that like this is this is the elder Megala. Like all that stuff we talked about from the very moment you sat down on this planet was like 
we have to like she's she's important. She's a big deal, right? And so she's like, I Makes can't do sense, this. Yeah. She's giving them the disapproving face, and they're like, "Oh, grandma doesn't approve of our behavior." And he's like, "Kill grandma!" And they're like, <laughs> "Okay, but we're gonna do it real slow." So, uh, <laughs> Kiran, you you're the first to react. You see Lau turn, and he's like, "Do it." What do you do? I'm going to push her inside this like this tunnel. Like, okay. how is this a gl- this is glass, isn't it? Uh, it's like plastic. Yeah. Okay. Since he does I'm gonna, I, since I'm standing here, I'm gonna push what? her in that in that direction and just like try to get her to get down for cover. Get down, you like shove her. Okay. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm gonna ta- I'm like gonna football tackle her and just hope I don't get break down, anything. Mr. President. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? no. She falls. She breaks her hip. You kill her anyway. <laughs> oh God! Oh no! <laughs> oh no, <Action>. Grandma! <laughs> get down, Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> basically I accidentally shoot yourself and then it'll be like that reveal after the fighting is over and be like you okay elder elder <laughs> yeah right she's, she's lying in the dirt like <laughs> okay so you want to you want to give her you want to like okay tell me what you're doing so you you want to like grab her and like both of you go down or yeah push yeah. her out of the way like, or like perfect secret service style shield. just like <gasps> Okay, she like, doesn't expect it, there. so she is she is gonna resist. Uh, I'm not gonna roll against you. We'll just say if you can get a seven or better on like a punch roll, which I know is a skill that you're very good at. Yeah, punch with strength. Okay. If you can get a seven or better, then you can like kind of grab her and like yank her out of the way. That turns out Grandma's a Aww. combat synth. Okay, so you, you got it. Um, you you kind of like move the two of you like you tackle her and. You know, like, Whole of your letter here, uh, you tackle her, and the two of you end up like over, over there. Mm-hmm. Cool. So you, yeah, you're like out of the way. You shove her, okay, mm-hmm. Gabriel. Execution like? attack against Talat Lau. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so hitting with a sniper shot. Uh, what is the it's range on a? Weapon, right? It's, it's a thousand totally to two thousand. Yeah. Yes, this you're is well uh, difficulty eight. Yeah. Yeah, difficulty eight in the book with shoot. Yep. Okay. Hop hop. <sighs> no problem. No fucking problem. Maximum damage. Maximum damage. Uh, which is what? And you must make an, a physical saving throw. So it's two d eight, but I add okay. uh, I'd add three to that because of my gunslinger skill. Um, because it adds. So he takes shoot, ni- nineteen. But... He takes nineteen damage. This is a lot of damage. <laughs> and then what's your shoot skill? Uh, plus two. Okay, so uh, he's got to make a physical save at minus two. Okay. Uh, ask not for who the bell tolls, my friend. Uh, so I need a uh, 15 or better on this roll. Fucking dead. Dead. Dead as a doorknob. <laughs> Done. So uh, mortally wounded on the spot. Uh, so yeah, where do you, do you shoot him in the head? Nah, that's uh, that would be pretty grim. Probably through the heart. <laughs> okay, all <laughs> right. Tiny black heart. So there's no there's no sound or anything. There's just this like brief flash of light. This little like, whoop. yeah, they're like the lasers in Akira. Exactly. For you, there's a hum as it powers up, and you're like, <laughs> and he there's just like, and you see a tiny little spot in the dust, like right here. Just go. And like, he looks at it and he like, he like touches his chest and he holds his hand up, like blinks a couple of times and then just falls down. <laughs> like just that's it. He just dies. He just falls down. Uh, he was smote yeah. down by God. <laughs> that's right. Lasers from yeah. God. Um, cool. So God that's lasers. that's your turn. Uh, Nomi, what would you like to do? Um. So I have my suppressed cognition thing. It requires mm-hmm. me to commit effort for the scene. I have Correct. three uncommitted effort. Can I use Perfect. all three you are on three different people? The fuck up. Um, you can do one at a time. Uh, right, like one this turn, one the next turn? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay, what would you like to, what thought would you like to suppress? I would like to suppress the goon, a goon, from, uh, uh-huh. Being able to think about any um, committing any acts of violence, right? Yeah, you're you're. It's that classic serpent's 
fucking pacification, right? Like, hey, mm-hmm. you remember violence? No, you don't. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll make a. They get a mental effect save, right? Yes. Okay, these guys are terrible at it. Okay, this guy fails. Um, so I'll I'll put a little mark on them. We'll put a little green X on them. So the nearest goon, the goon that Lao looked at, he's now just like looking at his gun, like, what is this for? Like, what kind of a weird <laughs> shovel is this? And like, he's looking at Lao face down in the dirt, and he's like, how how does man die? What <gasps> what? Like he's, he's just like what the fuck? Young. Yeah, because he Burn. doesn't understand violence. He's like his his brain can't like put. Like violence is just not a thing where he's just like, what, what am happen? Why anger everyone? So he's just, he's just all fucked up. Yeah. You got him. He's just like, I uh. so you feel, you feel your mind connect to his, this like tendril of thought and you just psychic surgery him and just are like, nope, you don't need this thing in your brain anymore. And, and as long as you're committing your, your, uh, your, uh, effort, he just can't think about violence. It's just not a thing. Uh, rad. Right. Okay, Booker. All you see is Nomi look out the window at this dude. <laughs> the window's like slightly rolled down a little bit. And <laughs> no, just it's just the eyes. Yeah, he just turned, <laughs> giving the old fucking snake eyes, and he's just like, Why? Big snake eyes! Big snake <laughs> eyes! <laughs> the, uh, the so, Bill, Booker, right, where you... it zooms in on Nomi's eyes, and you get the <laughs> weep, weep, weep. <laughs> Yeah, and suddenly. Yeah. Just yeah. goes black and white. Da, da, da. Yeah, he's just very um, confused and doesn't know what to do. So, I'm curious though, like obviously Booker, like tactically would just be like, all right, they're the enemy. Let's let's shoot. But also, it's like their leader's dead, and the elder Miguel is there. Are mm-hmm. they just going to start firing at the elder Miguel, or are they like, are they going to lose? That's the a great. The fight? That's a great question. Uh, Lao was just killed by a sniper. They are slightly fanatical. They just saw their leader die. He's been plying them with like martyrdom narratives for months. So when time comes for their turn, they'll, they'll, there's a, I have to make a roll to see what they do. Yeah. It's a good chance that they're going to fire in which case the best defense is a great offense. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that literally goes through Booker's mind. It's like, all right, dive out that window. John Woo style. Yeah. Booker's going to, we're in the car right here. Is that what that, that, that signifies? Yeah, you're the you're the purple bee in the car there, purple bee. Yeah, purple bee. Papa bear. Big snake. PB. Or, sorry, PB. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you gonna um, do? Yeah, I'm gonna pop out the car and take one down. Probably whoever's best in which line of side sight. of the car would you like to pop out of? Ooh, I get it. I get a choice. Now remember, if you're looking at the front of the vehicle, the doors will end up like this, right? Like if this is the ground, the bottom. They're gullwing doors because it's a fucking trail car and they don't open like normal doors. So you right. can't use a door as cover. As cover, correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, but couldn't I just like pop out of the car, like out of the side, you know, when the wing's up and then come back in if we're talking sort of like D&D mechanics? Um, no, because you can't move, shoot, and move. No. Could you get out okay. on the other but, side? Like, you, can you, use the, you can use the car... As the, yeah, you can use the car as the thing. Wait, what? So I can use, you can use the, the car, car as That's cover. what I'm saying. I can, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. I can, I no, can no, I don't mean out. you can jump in and out of the car, but like if you go, if you go like here, right, you'll have the car as cover from some, some of these nerds. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. We can do that. Okay. What I was thinking was like a, a quick little lean out of the car, like, Bzz! Where'd that come from? Yeah, man? yeah. The thing is, if you open, if you open this door, Nomi's like out in the open. Yeah, exactly. It, it would, it would leave Nomi um, susceptible to yeah. shots. So but yeah, this I side, would, this I side, you can kind of crouch down and like shoot yeah. over the, the like sense. back of the car. Yeah, or like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. be like. Yeah, so that's what I do. I get out and then yeah. I would target probably who's close. Probably that one. You take a shot at that guy. Okay, yeah, do it. Yeah, closest targets. Actually, closest targets. Yeah, to, to, to yeah, yeah. Okay. So this would be a burst fire with laser rifle. Oh yeah. yeah. No modifier, right? There shouldn't be. Uh, no, no additional Just modifier. Burst. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh! 
Holy <laughs> shit. Holy shit. My bad. <laughs> that guy is extremely oh, fucking oh, dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so all three shots hit him dude gets vaped he staggers back against the glass he staggers back against the glass and and Karen, you hear a thump on the glass as this dude hits it and then slides down onto the ground just like and like lands on the lands on the ground yeah hella dead uh cool all right uh <laughs> booker you're in your crush on because you, you moved okay lao has a big hole in his chest he's toast um Miguela, Miguel is like unless you unless you like try to hold her down, uh, Karen, she's like trying to get up. Grandma's like, gonna pushes fight. you. She pushes you off, and she she throws she throws the rifle aside, and she like walks out, and she has her hands up, and she's like, "Stop, stop it!" And like is just like shouting at them, like, "Put your guns down." And she's saying it to Booker, and she's saying it to the guy, and the guy with his gun staring at it, like, what is this for? He just drops it, like, okay. I don't know what to do with this thing anyway. It's a weird wrench. Uh, so she's, she's basically going to try to, like, it's like, everybody just calm the fuck down. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll for her. She's going to try to affect their, their morale. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> and now they have to make a morale check. So they have a morale of um let's say eight. No, let's say they have a morale of nine, but it's brought down to eight by by grannies like trying to stop them. Okay, so they can do as they please. They f they're gonna fight on for Lao. <laughs> Kiran, guess what? You're in exactly the same position you were in before. You can see that she's like listen to me you have to stop like put your guns down there doesn't need to be any more violence they're just gonna shoot the fucking shit out of her stop this we can do. mindless violence yeah okay so good. um there's three are the other three still in the cars uh yeah three of them are still in the vehicle so there's uh, only I really two that are a threat because one of them is being suppressed oh no you crossed that one out so three that are a threat yeah three that are a threat yeah and I'm they're not gonna... they're not acting this turn but they're they like yeah. they use i'm going to give them they use this turn to like mm -hmm. make their decision mm -hmm. i'm gonna hope that booker can take care of one because i don't think they're gonna stop until she's dead i'm gonna hope that gabriel can take the other and I'm going to use my armsman to okay. pull my knife from my boot and okay. the one that's right in front of her. Because I don't. Cause are they <laughs> showing any signs? Are they showing any signs of like, oh, I'm thinking. Or are they still like, nah, grandma's going down. They, they have succeeded at their morale check, which means they're going to fulfill Lau's order. They're going to be like, so they're like, they are going to do. Up. Yeah, they're more loyal to Lao's, Lao's uh, sentiment than hers. Or right, maybe I should try reasoning with them. Which makes them dangerous. What would Amira do? Yeah. If you want to get up there and fucking slow mo sword fight these dudes, you're welcome to. But <sighs> so bad. I feel like Are that's you going just gonna to piss... let the elder die? No, <laughs> the fucking voice. I mean, um, you got armsmen. You're unusually competent with melee attacks. I do. You might as well I just could, fucking get I in there. I could slice one of these motherfuckers in half, no problem. The thing yeah. is, right now, she is, like, totally going to do what we say. If I slaughter all these dudes, she might not. On the flip side, True. if I don't slaughter these dudes, they might shoot the shit out of her. They might kill this her, yeah. Is like, this is, like, tough. So I have the option of stepping out in front of her with my hands up and, like, trying to reason with them and tell them not to throw their lives away the way Lau did. And pray to God, Gabriel <laughs> and Booker can help me and know me, obviously. Or I, I, the, you know, I help them take these dudes out because there's also still three in the car and they can't, they can't take yes. care of everybody. Um, all right, let's do it. I'll, I'll, 
kind of step out alongside her. Um, kind of, you know, with my hands up as well and step in front of her almost halfway. Yep. She can still see her. And say... Enough blood has been shed on behalf of this extremist, on behalf of this man who used the church's values while actively flouting them, but used them against you, used your religion, your values, used your philosophies against you. Enough damage and carnage and blood has been shed in his name. Put an end to this. Search inside your hearts. Think of your faith. What does it demand of you? Would you kill a woman of the cloth in cold blood? Will you rise and shoulder the burden of doing the right thing? <laughs> they don't want to do the right thing. They, they definitely want to murder everybody. One of them probably I shouts something murder. like, <laughs> one of them probably <laughs> shouts like, death to the imperial pigs. And another one is like, kill the offworlders. They're and yeah, they're they're, they're gonna they're they're gonna mess you up, and it's clear to you that that's the case. So if you want to like still do something with your turn, uh, you cannot like they've made that morale check. You're gonna need to change the circumstances of the fight significantly before they may be forced to make another one. Um, or you wow. can throw something at one of them, or like duck back behind cover, or like right. grab grandma and be like, "Come on, you idiot! They're just gonna Crux. kill you!" Shove her Crux. into the car. Cannons right? are trained upon you. You'll all die if we don't make it off here. <laughs> they don't care turn about dying. Pirate. Yeah, yeah, they don't care. I about mean, dying, they care. So there's no point. They care more about dying than their friend did. But anyway, so what do you want to do with your your action? Do you want to um, like grab her? Do you want to like? Yeah, no, I'm gonna chuck the the boot knife. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you come out, and it's clear they're not doing anything. So you like reach down, and just throw a knife at the nearest guy. Yeah, at the dude like Fucking directly awesome. in front of me. Yeah. Okay. When I see him, like, reach uh, for his gun, or when I see his gun is still trained on me, I'm just going to be like, yeah. (laughs) Fine, then. Um, Okay. Yeah, you get your thermal knife. Um, Your, let's see, your stab is plus two. And you can use stab for throwing. So go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and roll that knife. Okay. So do I roll, do I hit the thermal knife button, or do I hit the stab button? Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Okay. I love, yeah, I love the, the, the peaceful, yeah, the peaceful speech and the like, come on, you can do it. And you reach down and then like huck the knife at him. Uh, okay. Let me see what, uh, what these guys have. Uh, as their, uh, as their armor class and stuff. They are, uh, I think they're martial humans. Yeah, that's what I had. Oh no, I have martial gang humans. members. That's right. Uh, their armor class is uh, is only twelve, uh, so that is a hit. So then it does. So you seven. hit, and yes, yeah, seven uh, seven does indeed kill. Yes, that is a that's a killer on that one. Um, so the the dude, which guy did you throw it at? The guy that was like kind of front and center in front of her. That yeah, like, okay. He takes a knife in the neck. So you and he's just, he grabs it. And he's like oh, blood, and he falls over. And they just going down. <laughs> dead as fuck. That, uh, that doesn't affect don't have their morale. Chance. I don't know what will. Well, I mean, yeah, you got to kill more than half of them before they have to check again. Uh, so right now, they're still doing okay. This is what um, happens when yokels go against professional trained killers. That's right. Uh, yeah, Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm thinking I kind of want to get stuck in there because the, I'm okay with a sniper rifle, but I'm way better with my rifle and my pistols. Um with the gunslinger and stuff. And also I can kind of get in their way. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to, as a move action, I'm going to, I want to teleport to like right in front of this guy. So like between him and Miguela um, or wherever yeah. that would be. So basically in between him and Miguela. And cause I have gunslinger, I, the, I drop the sniper rifle and draw my uh, John wick pistol. Um, as well, I what's arrive. Great, what's great is you, and then- you arrive. <laughs> You arrive before the sniper rifle hits the deck of the thing you just left, right? Like you teleport away and the rifle is just hanging in midair and then it clatters to the deck as you appear, weapon like guns coming out. Yeah. It's very and impressive. Then, uh, I'm engaged, so I want to be in melee range with him, but because of close quarters, he I don't get any penalties to shoot at him, but he'll get penalties. He will if he has a rifle. Yeah, these guys have rifles. 
Yeah. So, and then I'm going to pistol him in the chest, like kind of like John Wick style, like real close, like bam, bam, bam. Um, Yeah. You just appear, spin the barrel of the rifle out of the way and then shoot him in the chest. Yeah. So with Laza pistol. um, Ah, damn it. Uh, You miss. So he knocks the pistol aside and you fire into the, into the side of the ab dome. Yeah. I'm hoping I've made it more difficult for him to shoot at Miguela, though. So, or like, given them another target, uh, they have to shoot at. Yeah, he'll he'll probably try to slam you with the thing. Anyway, uh, Nomi, it is your turn. <laughs> this one guy is just like surrounded by things he cannot comprehend. Like, what's everybody doing? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to you want to okay. try to hit somebody else? Yep. Okay. Uh, so who are you targeting, and and what is the thing you're like cutting from from their mind? What's the yellow one? That's uh, Gabriel. That's Gabriel. Oh, okay. He got that church. Shoot yellow. him. He just shot. Him. shot. Red G's yeah. bad. Red okay. G's bad. Please no hot gold G. What's the <laughs> name of what's the name of this ability? Suppress cognition. That's right. Suppress cog- cognition was the word I was trying to remember. Okay, so suppress cognition. Uh let me see here. Um yeah, so you you make uh yeah, you make contact. Um, let's see, depth of contact, yada, yada, yada. Um, they get a mental saving throw to resist your contact. Um, and then you use a main action to to resist it. I think it's fine to just roll those into one save. There's no point in making this thing take two turns. So, yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, yeah, so I'll roll again. Great. Oh, this guy does even worse than the first guy. <laughs> So this guy too is just like violence. I don't understand. Is... And which, sorry, which dude was this? The guy fighting Gabriel? Uh, sure. That one. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. So literally this dude. So Gabriel, you come up, you try to shoot him. He knocks the weapon on his head. You shoot the ground and then he blinks hard. And he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> like he doesn't <laughs> understand just... that you're trying to kill him. He's just like, what, what's happening? <laughs> Um, Booker, what do you want to do? Muted. You're muted, Maximilian. Sorry. I was suppressed there myself. Um, Booker can't shoot the guys in the cars here, right? Because it would be like, are these tinted or is this just like a tree? You said they were like the equivalent of trucks. So is, are these open? Like, and these guys are fair game. I'm, I'm a, Trying to paint this guy right here. Ready? Boom. Which guy? All three of those guys are like pilot. The the people are piloted. They're piloting the trucks. Yeah, that guy. Sure. I know what I'm saying. Are they like you said? They were like trucks, so they're open. They're able to be shot. They're not like well, they're not armored. armored cars. There's there's like glass between you and and him. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out mechanically. Like, do they have an advantage to cover? Or yes, he like has. That? He has oh. cover and yeah, he has cover and the glass. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the closest best shot because all of them are in cover that we have. And this guy's suppressed over here, so he's not an immediate problem. So, yeah, I guess I would fire at this guy. Okay. I'll try my best. Um, sorry, I, I had my, my rules up. It was the same, the guy we were just talking about, that guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you're at minus, minus three to hit him um, because of his cover. Um, and <clears> if you hit him, it'll it'll reduce the damage, but... You can still take a shot at him. These guys aren't very mm-hmm. strong. So minus, yeah, when it asks you for your modifier, just put minus three. Okay. First, yes. Minus three. Oop. Okay. Uh, sixteen. Yeah. Uh, still enough to hit at, at minus three. Oh, you rolled great. You have so many bonuses. That's awesome. You're good at shooting things. Okay, yeah, so you get it. Uh, you, you hit him through the window, and he slumps over backwards. Uh, he is dead. He's very dead. Punk ass. Uh, okay. And they're just going down. So M- Miguela is not doing anything. She's just shouting, like, st- she turns to you, Karan, she's like, stop, what are you doing? Like, nobody else needs to die. This is insane. Um, and then, I think... Booker's doing what he does best, you know? I think th- this goon guns it, and he slams into the back of this car. 
<laughs> and tries to those cars forward. crash into the back of this car. Not so hard that it's going to like kill anybody, but Nomi and Booker, can you both make physical effect saves? Cannot be There's the guy who dropped Adam. his gun. I cannot be surprised. Know, right? Yeah, the guy who dropped his gun, these cars just like, psh. okay, Nomi, you're Danger fine. You sense. get like rattled. Yeah, Danger you get rattled. The, 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 car, the car says to you, Nomi, collision detected. Um, Booker, can you <laughs> make a save too? Physical save, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, you're both fine. So, Booker, you have to like jump back a little bit, but there's like broken glass and like <laughs> like falls towards you. Uh, and then this dude uh, backs up because he wasn't trying to kill you. He's just trying to get some room to maneuver. So he backs up and starts to turn the turn the car because he's like forward and then back and then he's gonna go yeah. out <laughs> on a car. No, um, this goon jumps into this car, and they also start like fucking backing away. Uh, they're they're ditching their friends. These guys are like, "Fuck this, we are out." Uh, and then the two goons who are like, de they've been lobotomized. Are like, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's okay. weird. All right. So, uh, Kiran, it's your turn. What would you like to do? I feel like this is over. It seems I'm, like I'm... I mean, if you want to let them go, it is sure. Oh yeah, I don't have any intention of. Hunting them down. Um, okay. Take the don't shot. want. I don't want <laughs> you know Miguel to think I'm a bloodthirsty heathen. So I'm gonna try to recompose my peaceful self, even though she's seen a flash of my free, free, free side. <laughs> yeah, your your murder abilities. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna try to <clears throat> dust myself off and make sure she's okay. Uh, she's not really okay. She's just like, this is, this is fucked up. <laughs> like, yeah. look at all these dead bodies. <laughs> right. Uh, Gabriel, what would you like to do? So the guy who's in front of me is like being mind messed up. Yeah, so I don't think you, I'll... I don't think you know, I don't think you know that. Oh, okay. So you just look at him. But no, he's like clearly not fighting though, right? Anymore. Like he's like. Uh, I mean, it's only been it's only been like a second. It's only been like a second. If you want to make a roll to see if you can tell something, yeah, I wrong. would. I I would want to tell okay. something because yeah, if, if a, I don't make think a notice, he's gonna hurt me. Wisdom? Make a notice roll with wisdom. Yeah. Because I don't want to fight this guy. I don't know. I don't just know. looks like he's confused about you appearing out of nowhere, right? He's just like, oh fuck. Well, what's happening? Who are you? But he's still got a gun in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess that means I have to shoot him because in character I wouldn't know that he's no I mean, longer a threat. I'm not going to tell you what you have to do, but I feel like shooting him might be the thing that would be appropriate in this situation. <laughs> okay. Let me just change the color of this X. Uh, Nomi, you, uh, you feel your connection to this dude just disappear. Just pops, he's gone. Oh, well. and he staggers. He staggers back <laughs> and dies. Uh, it's your turn, Nomi. Great. Um, the car got jammed. So everyone else has run away. I don't see any more. Uh, they're trying to. Yeah, this this car is pulling back. This one is also pulling away. Okay. Then. Um. And we already killed Talal. Talal is the extremely first person dead. To, he was the oh, first person to yeah. die. There is a chance. There's a chance if you like run over and last patch him. It's only been like three rounds. Uh, he's mortally wounded. So you might, if you really try, you get you get maybe you get one shot to save him. But he's a hole in his heart. But it was cauterized. But there's a hole. Yeah. In his heart. Well, Lazarus patches are kind of expensive. They are right. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. I think I'm I'm good. Uh, I guess the jig is up that she knows the Reverend knows we're working with uh, the Amira, right? So I just get out of the car, I guess. Okay, all right. I don't have like an action or I I don't like. Yeah, have anything to get to do out. if everyone's just leaving. Yeah, <laughs> there's no one else mm -hmm. to fight, so whatever. All right. No one else was uh, injured or anything, right? I don't need to like heal anybody. Um, Booker, yeah, 
Booker keeps his sights trained on on the the cars as they're leaving, like waiting for them to just seeing if anybody tries to take any departing shots. You know what I mean? He's just keeping trained on them. Just the soldier in Booker, you know, you know, is it in previous experience it's just because someone's leaving doesn't mean they're not going to stop shooting, you know, while they leave. So, so he, yeah, he just, I'll tell you this as, that. as you, as you look, uh, if you run, I was gonna say, if you book it, but that's I, you know, <laughs> book it. Uh, if, it. if you run, you could, you could, you could get to that car that just like is trying to pull away. Yeah, but that's excessive, maybe. I don't know. And again, they did just threaten my whole team and the Elder Gala. Yeah, I'm going to go for him. I'm going to go for him solely on the basis of these guys were, you, you know what? The crux of my, they, they're, they're filthy goddamn scum. They're terrorists. And if I let them go, you know? Yeah. So, so you want to just like, what, what do you want to do here? You you step up to the side. You see this vehicle. It's kind of pulling out this way. There's like a passenger door on this side. Yeah. I mean, I'll run within shooting range and shoot that motherfucker. You okay. Know, you want to try to shoot him through anyway. through the through the side window? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, go for it. Uh, okay. There is another bird. Negative three. Remember, it's at minus. Force. It's at minus three. Yep. Yeah. You're shooting. He's got cover in the window. Mm, you hit the side of the car. Yeah. Sizzling, you know what? It's sizzling lines. Oh, go on, get, get, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Get. All right. Uh, the elder is just like looking around, like Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> um. The goons, I think they uh, they turn tail and mosey on out of the area. So they they're gonna they're gonna just fuck directly off. They're gone. So you just see dust clouds as they like pull off. Um, and uh, as long as our resident psychic maintains her effort, uh, this <laughs> this uh, this guy, this one guy's just looking around. So all that's left of the the enemy force is a guy who's dropped his rifle to the ground. Is looking at his hands, like looking at all the bloodshed, and he's he cannot. Like his brain can't process violence. Not just he can't think of doing it, but violence just doesn't make sense to him. So he's just like, people are dead. Why? How did how did this happen? What's so he's just like just standing staring. He's all kinds of fucked up now. We can just like lock him up anyway. Um Yeah. 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 So what do you do? Holster my gun. <laughs> yeah. Job done. Chunk. Chunk. Um, done. Probably turn around, look at Miguela, um, look at Tao's body. Don't say anything though. Just kind of like. Yeah, I think Miguela. Miguela goes. Goes. She goes over to him and she like gets down on her knees in the in the dirt and she like. And picks him up and like turns him over so he's not face down in the dirt. And you can see she's like she's crying. Uh, she's not, like sobbing, but she's just like it's a shame this had to happen. That's kind of the vibe you get mm -hmm. from her. She's like holding his body and shaking her head, mm -hmm. and tears streaming down her face. Yeah, I'll probably um... just stand by. I won't say anything, but just kind of stand. Maybe. Uh... Pull out my little Bible. Um, I mean, I got out of the car, but I'm kind of letting the Amira like mm -hmm. have this conversation with the Reverend. So, um, I don't think I would really say anything. Okay. I guess I'll walk Amira? towards her and kind of like kneel down next to her and okay. say, um. We tried to save him. My only hope is now, with your help, we can save others. Make a lead and charisma roll. You can see that your words fall on deaf ears. 
she's having some feelings. She's got feelings going on, but you you can't. It's inscrutable. She does not hear you. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got one effort left. You want to mind probe her? Um, sure. Okay. Yeah, just uh, the telepathic contact. I'm not like suppressing yeah, anything. Just, just, just like dig, yeah, dig around in her brain. Yeah, you got one point yeah. left, so yeah. Okay. So she'll she'll True. get a, she'll get a save. Um, she's got a mental effect save of thirteen. Ooh, fails it by one. <laughs> All right. So your uh let's see, telepathy. Your telepathy uh gives you how much info do you get with the, the level you currently have? Like it's a fair um game. sophisticated yeah, enough man. to read their current thoughts, though it can't pick up memories or non-obvious connections. Perfect. Yeah. Mm, okay. nice. And then on top of that, you also get uh emo- her emotional state and stuff. So like massive disappointment, disillusionment, uh, frustration, like anger. Her thoughts are like, like, fuck you, you noble dick. You don't understand. But also like, this is my fault. Like, she's not mad at you. Like, oh, I'm going to take on the whole empire and punch him in the dick myself. She's like, I failed him. He failed his flock. Maybe yeah. God is dead. Like, <laughs> <laughs> everything sucks <laughs> like she's having a massive crisis of faith yeah um okay so i, I guess could have saved him if only i'd done something different yeah so i walk forward um having read her thoughts and i stand next to her and i say um Now is not the time to worry about what could have been done, but to look forward about what needs to be done. And Berkman still needs you. Berkman needs a strong leader, someone who knows the people and has their best interests at heart. Are you that person? She, uh, she doesn't say anything, and because you can read her mind, you know that she knows in her heart that she isn't like she is done that this is donezo for her um right. she this is the, the 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 last straw she thought she could save this guy and now he's dead and so she's just like nope she's not gonna like go and off herself or anything but she's gonna like leave the limelight like she's she's finished she doesn't okay. want to have anything to do with like the mayor or leadership or any of that Okay. Um so this like warrant that we have for her? Uh mm-hmm. are we like actually supposed to arrest her? Like I don't know if like like does Yancy actually want us to bring her in or is it just So like- you <laughs> Yancy loves arresting people. Um yeah. <laughs> you are absolutely well within your rights and and in fact unless you can like explain why you didn't arrest her. You have a warrant out for her arrest. So this would be the time to be like Reverend Elder Miguel, you were under arrest, but under contravention of like, she's she's like under suspicion of being a traitor, associating with traitors, like Lau, Lau is, but she was though. That's the thing. Every bad thing Lau did falls on her under suspicion. She, she she could disappear. Yeah, I was gonna say, she's well, yeah, right. This is why we have lawyers. Yeah, um, right. You know, right now, Nomi, you have the power to make her disappear forever by being like, okay, okay, grandma, get in the car. <laughs> uh, and then she could just vanish into the Crux Imperial prison system forever. You could give her a one-way trip to Gleipnir right now. Um, or you could just report to Yancy and be like, it's fine. She's nothing. Yeah. The, like... I feel like she was trying to like prevent this from happening, but I also wonder how much she knew about what he was doing. And if mm-hmm. she knew, then yeah. she was how allowing much... it to happen. Right. And it all it all sort of comes down it all comes down to what does Nomi yeah, what does Nomi think the right thing to do here? Right? Right. Um <sighs> What does Nomi think? 
Um, I think that Nomi has a warrant for her arrest and that I am not the person who decides um, what her involvement was, what the level of her involvement was. And mm-hmm. so that's... There, yeah, there are people she, whose specialty needs to is die finding out like, these things. Yeah, yeah. like there, there's an investigation that needs to happen. And in the meantime, I don't think that she has, she can just like be free for to do whatever she wants. Like she knows more about what's going on here. Um, okay, so, so what does that look like? So when, yeah, when she doesn't respond, when I say like, are you that person? And then I can yeah. hear her be like, I'm you getting feel the fuck her, out of like, here. No, of course I'm not. Yeah, just leave me uh-huh. alone with my grief. Yeah. Um, so then I would just say, uh, I'd look at Booker maybe, um, and mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah, I assume Booker, like, you're not like behind the cars anymore. Yeah. No, no, I'm not hanging out by the cars anymore. Booker's like, what's up? What's going on? Stand in the tops. <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah, as, so as, as the just, cars go away, yeah, you come up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would just give him kind of like a, like come forward set kind of thing. And then say, um, I'm very sorry, Reverend, but I do have a warrant for your arrest. Your connection with this organization is muddled, and we need to sort out the pieces. If you'll come with us, and Booker, I would like kind of motion you to come forward and then, like, take her, I guess. Yeah, cuff her. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cuff her. Cuff, cuff okay. grandma. So she doesn't, <laughs> yeah. she doesn't get up. She doesn't, like, get up. She's still, like, on her knees and, like, holding this guy. So you're going to have to, like, drag her to her feet. Yeah, Booker would try to be like, like, I don't know why I sounded weird just now when I said that. <laughs> Elder Miguela, would you please? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just um, suddenly become Gabriel a Gabriel to his face? Yep. <laughs> like a weird space Spaniard? <laughs> yeah. I claim this woman for Spain. So you just drag <laughs> her to please, her face? Or space you, to Spain. Please come with me, Elder Miguela. <laughs> Um, nobody, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> okay, so she's she's on her knees. Do you, you just like she's not going to get up? So you do you just like pick her up? Yeah, then I pick her up. Okay, yeah, she's kind of like she doesn't resist. You pick her up, you put her in handcuffs, and uh, I guess put her in your trail mobile, and do you drive her away? I guess that's what we do. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Cool. I'm gonna say like See. as she's like being led into the car and just like make eye contact with her briefly and say, um, as much as many of you despise nobles, it's funny how when offered the position to be to shoulder the burden of leadership, how few of you rise to the occasion. You okay? Yeah. Cool. You. You rub it the fuck in. <laughs> you just well, stab her in her heart. It's perfect. She's no, like, it's, it's I could have saved her from the shackles and she could have saved people and she, she didn't rise herself. to the occasion. She dies so, so of she shame. Had... <laughs> so she Good. Has disappointed... <laughs> has disappointed... Her heart stops. She's an old lady. She dies. Uh, I yeah. And I think, I mean, I think that's what we do. We, we have the shot, the tight shot of the, of the garage as the vehicle pulls away and the shot pulls back and the, the end, the end credits theme starts to play as we see you pull away from the, the, um, from the, the, say the solar farm and, uh, and head back and, and the, thus concludes, uh, our summertime adventure on Berkman three. Um, we'll talk, we'll talk at the beginning of the next session about kind of like the ramifications and where that goes. We'll jump ahead a little bit and we'll do some interstitial spaceship stuff. Um, but good job, everybody. So for completing, uh, the, the whole like Berkman situation, uh, everybody gets three experience. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so you get three experience for that, uh, for, for successfully putting an end to the situation on Berkman three. Um, cause you, you got all the bad guys, you got everything. You just like rooted out all the shitty people and hurled them into space. I um, leveled up. Yeah, Me yeah, yeah. Too. So you you did you did that, and that's good. Congratulations. Three away. Um, let me grab your let me grab your personal your little personal goals. Only twelve here. to go. Okay, so I'm nowhere near my personal goals. Let's see. <laughs> Expose the corruption of the crux. Hey, I'm a crux. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm working on it slowly from the inside, slowly, real slowly. All right, so. 
Gabriel, you get another one for eliminating Lau. Um, Kiran, you didn't have to secure your replacement yet, but I imagine that's mm -hmm. that's coming. Uh, no, nah, I'm just Booker, gonna bounce you, and be a bloodhound for Vagrant. Now. <laughs> you, you ended up, you ended up with uh, with uh, the elder, the elder in your your clutches. So you get one, uh, and Nomi, uh, you uh, you got your goal as well. Um, so good. Did you say I get another team? Wait. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get another one another, experience. Another point. Cool. We're at yeah. 15. What's the next? Oh, is it 18? Yeah. It's the next level. Oh, wow, we're already kind of close to the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's the end of a the end so of a arc. Far. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. <laughs> okay, just, just don't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space cops. I'm glad we saw some combat. That was cool. Yeah. I know in, in Stars yeah. of That Number, it's like kind of frowned upon and you know, not not super common, which is fine. But well, it's rare. Cool... It's rare because it's so deadly, but it's getting less so, and you guys are getting yeah. off, So uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks nice work. All right, everybody. Uh, let's do some shout outs and we'll go do the uh, do the post show. Uh, why don't we begin with Anne? Great. Hello, my name is Anne Munition. Uh, I am a variety streamer on Twitch, but I play a lot of first person shooters such as Battlefield 5. Um, so I won't be streaming after this and tomorrow I have some meetings and stuff, so I won't be streaming tomorrow. But you guys can catch me on Friday. Um, Twitch.tv slash ammunition, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. It's all the same. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Excellent. Thank you. Cool. Uh, Max, go next. Hi, I'm Max or Gas Mexican on the Twitches and the YouTubes. Everything. If you want to follow me on there, go for it. Um, I tweet about my dog sometimes. That's about the only redeeming quality. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Sorry, my words were a little screwed up and kind of... Still, my brain was still a little mush. Got to warm up the engine. Sometimes it takes chunk. longer. It's because it's winter here. It's my brain is much like a car, and then you have to warm it up that way. I don't know. Whatever. It's Max like. is a lizard. Yep, I'm a lizard. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll be streaming some Red Dead afterwards if you're interested, and I'll be playing with some buds and all that. It'll be good times. But if not, no worries. See you next time. Cool, cool. Uh, bronze. Hi, hello. I am that bronze girl. Um, you can find me online at twitch.tv slash that bronze girl also on twitter at twitter.com slash that bronze girl also you can find me here and i play other rpgs in various other locations on the internet thank you so much i love the you internet comments <laughs> in chat today you're all wonderful good night and god bless <laughs> it got weird it, it got weirder and weirder like <laughs> It was a bit like a movie phone. Welcome to movie phone. <laughs> you may find me on the <laughs> internet. Was like, was like, you got my bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I could hear that over the phone. I thought you were doing like a weird Winston Churchill at the end. That's yeah, I, I was. I kind of thought it was like. like I'm not sure what the fuck. Well, that's what I kind of thought you were. Doing you will it. find me on the Twitter. You will find oh, me on the Facebook. Yeah. Okay. I know that cadence <laughs> and. <laughs> Oh man, you guys are the worst. All right, so uh, last but not least, it's Mark. Mark, do it at least. Hello, my name is Mark. That was a fun episode. Uh, always fun to play. Gabriel, you can check me out. My main thing uh, that I do is a D&D show called High Rollers. Uh, you can find it under High Rollers D&D &D on both Twitch and Twitter. Um, I also do my own stuff, which I normally post to my Twitter and Twitch. I'm starting to slowly get back into more streaming. The big thing to kind of wanted to shout out was in December, over on the Yogscast, which I do a partnership with, we're doing a whole month of charity streaming, raising loads of money with Humble Bundle. It's going to be amazing. We've got a D&D special with Matt Mercer this Sunday, and then we're going to be doing more fun RPG stuff throughout the month as well, and it's going to be raising loads of money for charity. So come and check that out on the Yogscast Twitch. Sick. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I was putting together the Q&A thread. That was episode 20? That was 20, right? Chat? What episode was that? <laughs> I put it as 20 on the thing, and if it's not 20, well, tough shit for me, I guess. Uh, so you can find that that possibly erroneous uh, Q&A thread uh, over at community.itmejp.com, where I will answer questions about your game. Uh, and if you uh, if you want to know anything about the, the world that we're playing in, or you want to participate in the creating of, of lore, or you want to get in on the diplomacy and, and the fighting... Um, if you're a patron of uh, Roleplay, everybody gets a ticket to the Farber on a Faction Turn. And I bring that up because there's a Faction Turn coming up on uh, on Friday. Not this Friday, but a week Friday, uh, on the 7th of December. So make sure you can get caught up for that. 
Uh, you can find me elsewhere on the internet on Twitter, Skinny Ghost, or on Twitch, uh, Adam Coble. Uh, I'm going to be at PAX Unplugged uh, all weekend. So if you are also going to be at PAX Unplugged, come and tell me uh, that you watch the show and that you like our stuff. And if you have something mean to say, don't get anywhere near me. Just stay away from me. But I'll be at PAX, and then I'll be back, and then it'll be right back into all the RP stuff. Uh, so that's it for us. We're going to go record the post show for patrons. Um, and remember the rotating selection of Far Verona pins uh, that is available as part of our merch. So if you missed them on the first batch, uh, make sure to check in on the merch store every once in a while so you can get the pin that you desire. Um, I have been wearing my House Cygnus pin around because I'm the only one that's allowed to wear it. And I swear to God, if I see anybody oh. wearing that House Cygnus pin, I will retire your ass. I'm watching you. All right, that's it for us. We will see you next time. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye.